Hi guys, Blake here. Um, today we're going to be taking a look at another another quite nice way to make ISK. Um, we're going to be using the Praxis. So this isn't isn't quite as low skill level as some of the other stuff, but the Praxis is still a very friendly new player fit or new player ship rather. Um, and most of the modules again are going to be quite new player friendly. We'll just quickly go through the fit, and I'm going to explain what we're going to do. So we're going to be using. Um, Arbalist cruise missiles launches, and I'm going to be using the Garista cruise missiles with it. It's up to yourself, you don't have to. I just put them on for a little bit of extra DPS. A couple of Capri charges, shield hardeners, an extra large shield booster, and then we've got some boost amplifiers to help with that. Loads more cap in the bottom, a CPU processor, because obviously um, it's quite a heavy CPU fit, and a couple of little missile buffs there. <laughs> on top of that, Again, just to add to our shield, or our tank rather, they're just going to increase the speed our booster cycles at. And again, just give us a little bit more cap. The idea is this is going to be cap stable. It may struggle a little bit when it gets neutered, but not massively. Um, for my drones, it should be... It should have 5, 5 and 5. I've lost a couple along the way because they tend to get chewed up. Um, and there's some Hornets, um, ECM Hornets, just, just just in case, really. Occasionally, they'll save your life, so, you know, why not include them? Okay, guys, so now we're going to jump into the site. The first thing you're going to want to do is put the name of the site into Google. Into Google. It'll bring up the EVUni page. This site is the Fortification Frontier Stronghold. The reason we need to do that is because certain waves are going to trigger, sorry, certain enemies are going to trigger the next wave. So there's a sequence you want to follow when you start killing them. Um, right, we're in a C3 wormhole. So this ship's coming in at 200 odd mil each, 200 odd mil ish, and in this one site alone, <clears throat> We should get about 45 mil. The triggers in this site are the cruisers, so ideally you want to start with the frigates. The problem is my cruise missiles apply quite poorly to them, so once they get close, we'll use our drones. Now, you need to be really careful with your drones. They, they really do aggro on these sort of sites, so if there's frigates, don't have your drones far from your ship because you're going to be pulling them back. Um, it's a little bit of a pain, but as you can see, the ship itself is holding up really nicely. There's um, very few issues, certainly with this wave. Now, the waves will get progressively harder. I think the next wave is four cruisers, and the wave after that's a battleship and a few other bits. Um, but th 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 this is something I recommend if I'm honest with you, because you're not risking a great deal. You did this for an hour, you're probably going to pay for the ship. What we'll do now is we'll fast forward through this wave because it's going to get boring quickly just watching this and then we'll discuss the next wave when we get back. Okay, now we're back onto wave two. Um, there's four cruisers this time, so we're going to take a little bit more damage. And um, you see, the first thing we do is just pull our drones back. It's not actually well; it, it's still good practice because you'll they'll, all the ships will aggro straight to you. Um, it, again, though, with the cruisers, it's not as bad. They don't seem to aggro to the drones as hard. So once you're um, once you're ready, you can throw them back out again. From a tank point of view, again, the ship's not struggling at all, and we do apply slightly better to the cruisers than we ever did on the. Frigates, 
once you get to the battleships, it actually applies really clean, and you start seeing a um, you, you kill a battleship roughly the same time you kill a free, um, a cruiser. The reason this is working, we're in a black hole in a C three. So what that's doing is, first of all, it's given us a twenty nine percent bonus to our missile velocity, or just basically range, but it gives us fifty eight percent missile explosion velocity. So basically, the missiles are hitting a lot better than they would have in a standard. Now this can run a standard C3, but it's very, very slow going. We also get 58% bonus to speed, which is nice because the Praxis is stupid slow. Um, but we're just sat next to our MTU, so it doesn't really matter in this case. There are There is a negative, which is minus 29% to stasis web strength. Doesn't affect us. Plus 29% to, uh, to inertia. And last, you get 58% bonus to your targeting range. So this can be exploited for other sites as well because we're using cruise missiles. They've they've got a really, really nice range. So once we get that target and range bonus, you can sit at, I believe it's, well, it's certainly in excess of 100k and just rain missiles down on them. It's nice for some of the sites, particularly the C4s where they try and scram and hold you. Right, so what we'll do now, we'll just fast forward again and we'll get to the last wave and show you how it does there. Okay guys, now we're back for the final wave. This is four cruisers and a battleship, so this is going to start getting a little bit more punishing now. All we're going to do, we're going to prioritise the battleship over everything else, get that DPS off the board, and then the rest will just be the same as you've seen before. So Shield boosters on. Obviously we're getting muted as well, so you do need to keep an eye on your cap. The ship cap regens really, well, quite quickly. So if you can get away with pulsing your shield booster occasionally, then that's going to make a difference. Now I'm giving thoughts to overheating. You can overheat hardness for quite a long time, and it, it does make a difference. In the end, I've decided it's not necessary here, but it's definitely, it's definitely an option if you're struggling. You can see we've been on that battleship for quite a short time, and we're already taking it down. I know there are ships that can run this better, but... You have to keep in mind this is 200 mil and there's no skill in to get into the battleship itself. You don't get racial bonuses for it, it's just roll bonuses. So it's a nice, it's it's not completely new friendly, but certainly newish player friendly. You, know, you just focus on the cruise missiles and a few other bits. You could probably step down some of the modules to T1 if you needed to. I don't know how far you could scale it back. But looking at this, you know, we've certainly got a nice margin of error there. So, you know, you could probably make it even cheaper again. The reason I like it cheap is, obviously, you're in wormhole space, so you are going to lose it at some point. You should be descanning a lot, um, way more than I am. But, again, it's a 200 mil ship, so I don't want to say it's disposable, but it do it certainly doesn't hurt. If It doesn't hurt that badly, particularly when you think how quickly you can make this money. Okay guys, and we're back, so that was nice and easy, there was no dramas, um, I, def I forgot to time it, and it's hard to tell on the recording because of fast forward and stuff, but my guess is it took about 15 minutes, maybe 20 on the absolute outside, so more than happy with that. The grand total at the end, so it's 41.1 million, there are better paying sites than that, and it is capable of running them as well. I've tried it on a C4 solo, and it's not, 
like you can do bits but you jump in and out it's not worth your time let's put it that way but you get a couple of people together and you can go really really far on them you just need to remember like that black hole effect really important for it but on the whole i'm really impressed with how the practice did and um, if you like this video guys i've got a couple of other videos about making trying to make it a squid cheap ships basically so i'll link them above you can have a little look at them if you want um, other than that guys, thanks very much for watching, I appreciate it. Um, if you did like it, please like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.